Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons Partners of Olive Town and today July 29th a new part of the expansion pass just came out and this includes quite a few interesting things. So first you've got the Yukata set. So there's a Yukata outfit for the 10 marriage candidates. Unfortunately once again this outfit does not apply to the DLC characters, just the ones living in Olive Town. And there's also a Yukata that you can buy for the main character. And there's also the legendary sprite dance which is a sub scenario so i think it's gonna be very similar to the mystery files that we had in the first part of the expansion pass where you had to collect some items and go through a little scenario and so we're gonna take a look at this in this video but yeah let's just get started so first of all if you want to get the yukata you'll have to go in the settings for the downloadable contents and then you should have an option right here to set up the outfits for the marriage candidates. So I'm going to pick up the Yukata outfits and I'm just going to load my save file and jump right into it. All right. So when you first load your save file, you're going to get this little announcement. And it seems like there's some new interactions in the sprite village. It seems like the sprites are worried about something. And if you've reached a certain town development level, of course, I think you probably have to have unlocked the sprite village before you can access this. Um, you can go to the sprite village and talk to them. So we're going to check that out. But first, I want to check out the Yukata outfit. So if you go to the beauty salon, you're going to be able to get them. So we're going to check that out. But first, I want to check out how everybody's looking. So let's start with Ralph. And of course, I'm playing on version 1.0.7 of the game, so I can really get a nice close-up of the different characters. And as you can see, he has a little fan at the back of his yukata. And yeah, let's check out what everybody else looks like. So here we've got Reina, and she's wearing a purple yukata with flowers. And she also has a beautiful little mask on her head. And Laura is over here, and she's wearing a blue Kind of turquoise yukata with some purple flowers and i don't think she has any kind of accessories she doesn't have any fans oh I, yeah she does have a yeah she does have a fan uh but she doesn't have a mask i like so far how everybody looks quite different they all have very different yukatas and over here we've got emilio and he's wearing a very cute octopus mask that's so lovely let's take a closer look I think he's got my favorite outfit so far with the blue yukata. Yeah, very festive and summery outfit. Oh, and here's Iori and he's got a very nice outfit as well. And he's matching, oh, he's running. He's matching the purple waist with the little purple um, thing in his hair. So yeah, pretty nice outfit for him. Next, we've got Blair and she's all in pink. It really matches her blonde hair and she's got this kind of, I don't know if it's a rabbit, but yeah, she has some kind of creepy animal mask with a very cute yukata. Uh, yeah, pretty cute. Next, we've got Jack who has a very goofy mask, <laughs> very funny and a very classic kind of dark blue yukata. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Jack. Then we've got Bridget with a black yukata with very contrasting kind of white and pink flowers and light blue flowers. And she has a fan. Oh, that's a nice detail. Her fan has little chicks. So since she likes animals, I think, yeah, that's a very cute details with the little footprints. And let's see if Damon is here. No, I think he might be somewhere else right now. Oh, there he is, and he looks very cool with his all black yukata, and he has a mask, but he keeps moving, so I can't really see it. Okay, I think he's wearing more of a traditional type of mask, and I just want to see his face like this. Um, yeah, I think the black really matches with his personality. And now, last, we're gonna check out Lynn, who might be into the flower shop. And yes, there she is. So she's wearing a beautiful kind of white yukata with some red and blue flowers. And of course she has her little flower in her hair. And 
Yeah, let's see her fan. So her fan is matching her Yukata as well. So that's pretty much it for the Yukatas of the marriage candidates. And I feel like they did actually a pretty good job with this. All of them have different patterns and different colors, different accessories. So I just wish the DLC characters in Terracotta Oasis and Windswept Falls would have them as well. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and check out the outfit that you can buy at the beauty salon. Alright, so let's see what these outfits look like. So if I'm not wrong, I think there's two different ones. Yes, so there's this pink one and this blue one. So I'm going to order both. And I'm going to check if there's any kind of hat or anything. No, so there's no hat. I wish we could have a little mask like the different marriage candidates have. Uh, there's also no glasses or anything. So it's really just the main outfit. But I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to come back tomorrow uh, because they're not ready quite yet. All right, so my outfits are now ready. So let's go in the changing room. I'm not too sure actually, I <laughs> almost want to wear the pink one because it just fits so well with my hair but I think I'm gonna go with this blue one and maybe I should take out my glasses and here I am I think that looks pretty good so now let's go to the sprite village and see what's up with the earth sprites. So you're just gonna have to come here and talk to the sprite so if you just started playing the game uh, you're gonna have to play a little bit before you unlock him and before you can go to the sprite village and let's see what happens. So right when you arrive you get this little cutscene and the sprite says Josh there's something really important so please wait here. So I'm not too sure if they're gonna get something for me or and he says Josh do you know thanks to whom the sprites are happy. So you can ask is it the boss sprite is it the spirit or is it Josh, is it me? I think... <laughs> I think it would be me, right? Because I worked so hard for them. Oh, no, he says, we're very grateful for you, Josh, but... If we're really this happy, it's all because of our chief sprite, the bus sprite. And so the earth sprites want to make dreams come true for our bus sprite. And the dream of the boss sprite is to have a sprite dance in front of everybody. However, the boss sprite is very tired and he can't really dance. It's very difficult for him to dance. So we want to heal his tiredness. But how should we do that? Mm, good question. So we can say everybody can support him or you can give up the dance. Or I'm gonna give you a hand. So you know what? Let's give them a hand. Yay, he looks very happy. So let's help our bus sprite. So everybody together, let's help him. But I, have, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it successfully. And Josh, we want you to help the sprites that are going to be helping him as well. Of course, I'm going to help you guys. So what should we do next? Maybe if I talk to the sprites. Wow, he's giving me a lot of fish every day. I'm gonna have to clear up my inventory. Okay, no, he's not telling me anything. Maybe I have to talk to the boss. Let's see if he has anything special to say. Um, no, same as usual for him. I'm really not too sure what's the next thing I should do. Maybe let's go back to the farm. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the village and maybe it's gonna trigger a different cutscene. Oh yes, I think it does. I think there's gonna be something. Oh, so I think my guess is that you're gonna have to do a task for each of the sprites. So this one, it says, Josh, you came just at the right time. I want you to tell me what is this place? Uh, so you can say it's the farm or it's the sprite village. So of course it's the sprite village. Maybe it's just gonna be a kind of quiz. I don't know. Yes. And he says, of course, I remember. And then it seems like he got lost and he was looking all around. And he says, actually, in order to help the bus sprite, I was just trying to patrol around the area. Our bus sprite used to patrol the area every day. But I was turning around so much that I lost my way and I didn't know where to go. I think things would probably be easier if I had some things to drop on my way as I go. 
And for that, Josh, I have something to ask you. Can you please go gather some beans that I can drop on my route when I patrol around? Yes, of course. So let's go get some beans for you. Thank you so much. So, all right, let's go get the beans. I don't know if it's going to be anything like the mystery files. Um, if you guys remember that first part of the DLC. Okay, so you have to go to the city hall to complete the request. Um, it was only like one item that you had to bring. So I just hope it's going to be a tiny bit more challenging. All right, so let's see how many beans he needs. And just one, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to be enough beans to drop on the ground so he doesn't lose his way. But anyway, let's go get the bean. So let's do this. And that's done. So I'm going to go back to the Sprite Village. I don't know if maybe I'm going to have to wait tomorrow or not. All right, so I think you can do everything on the same day. So I just came back right after and he says, thank you very much. I want to say thank you. And he says, if I put beans on my patrolling route, I'm going to be able to patrol instead of the bus sprite. <laughs> I think the bus sprite is really amazing for being able to patrol without having to put beans on his way. But there is just a little bit of a problem. All the beans that I put down were eaten by birds. Oh, no. But I really want to continue to patrol for the bus sprite. So we should need to find something in replacement of the beans. So what about some leaves or maybe some rocks? I think rocks are probably a better idea. Yes, of course. I think that's a really good idea. And for it to really stand out, maybe we can put a shiny glass rock. I think that would be pretty good. So I ask you, Josh, please go gather some glass rock. Of course. And of course, he just needs one glass rock. So let's give it to him and let's go back to the village. Oh, and now we've got the grass sprite who says, I want you to help me. So I try to copy what the boss sprite is doing and I try to talk to the wild animals. But the wild animals are not very good to me. I want you to teach me how I can become friends with the wild animals. So maybe just take out your courage and do your best. Or uh, maybe we should try to make some toys. Hmm, I think, yeah, maybe we should make some toys for the animals. Yes, I think that's a great idea. So if we only had lots of ingredients, I, can, I think we could be able to make some toys. But the sprites don't have anything like that. Oh, Josh, would you please gather the materials to make a toy? Of course. All right, so let's see what kind of toy we're going to make. All right, so for the toys, you've got a pretty big selection. I think you can choose either any of them. So either like one supple lumber or one wool yarn or one uh, thread. So I think I'm going to go for the yarn. All right, so just one yarn like this and that's done. I feel like it's actually quite easier than mystery files because sometimes mystery files, you didn't know where you had to go to trigger the next event. Uh, but with this one, you just basically complete the request and then go back to the Sprite Village and then go fill the request and go back to the Sprite Village. And you can do everything in the same day. So, so far I've done three requests and all in the same day. So I think you can <laughs> do this whole event in just one day. So it's a little bit more maybe kind of repetitive um, in that sense. But I think it's pretty cute. It's pretty enjoyable. Oh, actually, now that I'm back here, uh, I think nothing happened. Uh, so I might have to wait another day. Oh, I might have to get everything, actually. So you know what? Actually, I was wrong. They do need all of the items. So it is getting a tiny, tiny little bit more challenging. And all right. So now I'm going to go back to the village. All right. And I came back to the village. And for some reason, nothing's happening. Uh, I'm not too sure why. Okay. So actually, I figured it out. You just have to make sure that you come to the Sprite Village after 10 a.m. if you come too early. The cutscenes are not going to trigger. So he says, Josh, I'm very thankful. I used the toy and I was able to touch the animals. And for the bus sprite to be able to touch the animals without using any toys is really amazing. But 
I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna become too friendly, too close with the animals. They licked me and I'm just full of saliva. So uh, if I want to continue, I need to make sure I'm able to wipe off the saliva. So you can use grass or you can use some kind of cloth. So I think cloth should probably be the better option. So if I have some cloth to wipe off the saliva, I'm gonna be able to touch the animals a bit more. So please I ask you Josh, all right, let's get some cloth for him. All right, so he just needs one cloth like this. All right, so next we've got the stone sprite with another request. So he says everybody started to help the bus sprite, but I came out a little bit late. There is nothing left to do, but I want to do something. So what should I do for the bus sprite? So we can either say just your smile is more than enough or let's encourage everybody. Maybe let's let's cheer on everybody. Oh yes, that's right, because the bus sprite is always cheering on everyone as well. So maybe I should go get some flowers and encourage everyone. But I don't have any flowers. Ah, Josh, go bring me some flowers. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get some flowers for you. Thank you so much. All right, let's do that. So he needs one moon drop, one pink cat, and one magic blue. So these are all flowers that you should be able to find on your farm no matter the season. And let's see if he has any problem. And he's probably gonna ask me for something else. All right, so I'm back to the village and let's see what's the problem. So he says, Josh, I was looking for you. I gave flowers to everybody and they were very happy and the bus sprite is really amazing to be able to make everybody happy without having to give flowers and from now on if I can I want to make everybody even happier and I want this place to smell even more like flowers so I can say maybe we can draw pictures of flowers or I think perfume could be good so I think perfume could be a pretty good idea so we're gonna have to make some perfume so if we do have uh, flowery perfumes everybody's gonna be very happy so of course I'm gonna go get that for you so now let's go back and I think it's gonna be time for the sprite dance oh no you know what actually I think there's one more sprite we've gotta help so he says the bus sprite was usually reporting to the spirit however I tried to do it but I couldn't I was really nervous and my heart was beating fast and I couldn't say anything. So how should I do to meet the spirit without being so stressed? So you can either like maybe empty your mind or just relax maybe. Just relax would be a good solution. Relax, yes that's a really good idea Josh. So in order to relax Yes, so I think if I had some herbal fragrance, I would be able to relax. But the sprites don't have any herbs. Just go get some herbs for me. So once again, another pretty simple request. So you just need some sage. Lemon marigold. And golden rosemary. All right, and I'm back. So let's see what's the problem now. So he says, Josh, I knew you would be coming. So with the herbal fragrance, I was really able to relax and I was able to meet with the spirit. It's really impressive that the boss was able to meet with the spirit every day without being stressed. And then there's something quite happy that happened when I talked about the spirit dance. The spirit says that she would like to see it. Oh, so maybe she's gonna join us for the event. So if the spirit is coming, I wanna make the stage really pretty. So to make it pretty, do you have any idea? So maybe we could wait for the rainbow to come out, which I think it's gonna take quite a while. Or we could decorate with something shiny. So let's decorate with something shiny. 
the dance is gonna be really really exciting if we decorate with de with shiny stuff so i've got something to ask you please make our festival very shiny so i'm wondering what kind of stuff we're gonna have to gather so let's go take a look at the city hall and he wants nothing less than maybe oh actually quite a few stones so two uh sorry one white opal and one ruby yeah i think i'm gonna have to actually go in the first mine for the white opal i didn't have any of these in a long time so i'm just gonna do that and come back with this all right so i think it's finally party time finally time for the dance so he says thanks to josh we were able to prepare for the sprite dance and as you can see there's so many gems all around everything's so beautiful and the bus pride says oh josh you came thanks to you everybody's very happy and i'm happy as well thank you so much josh you're welcome so we can finally watch the long sought sprite dance and that's also all thanks to you josh everybody's so happy oh and the spirit is coming as well so i wonder where she is ah there she is she's sitting down i really wish i really wish there were more interactions and like cutscenes with her in the game so oh, the sprite dance is gonna start so i wonder what kind of dance <laughs> that's gonna be let's see all right so let's dance uh, so everybody's gonna dance oh <laughs> and this rock sprite says everybody's gonna dance and he says yes everybody helped to do the work for the village so it's everybody's reward and then the grass sprite is asking is it really okay can we yay and everybody's happy and let's start so oh my gosh <laughs> that's so adorable everybody let's all dance together dance be more and more energetic that is so adorable i think it was worth it oh even the spirit is dancing oh wow i was not expecting that oh even i am dancing oh my gosh that's so cute <laughs> i love this animation that's so cute are you guys energetic now yes we are that is so adorable look at how my character is dancing that is so cute and that's it and we're done so now i can go to the beauty salon and get a little sprite outfit so i gotta say the dance was very cute so <laughs> i wish there was something more but yeah let's go get our outfit all right so i just picked up my outfit and let's see how it looks <laughs> all right so here it is guys i think it is definitely worth going through these quests just for that cute cutscene and that outfit and you can see when you run around the little leaf on the head is just like shaking around and <laughs> i think it's super cute and yeah let me know what you guys think of this outfit i think it's uh, definitely worth it but yeah that's pretty much it for all the content that there is in this part of the expansion pass so you've got the yukata outfits for the marriage candidates you've got one for yourself you've got the sub scenario with the sprite and the adorable cutscene and then you've got this one and yeah i really wish we had more interactions with the spirit it was really nice to see her dancing but yeah let me know what you guys think of this specific part of the expansion pass and actually there's just one last part left to the expansion pass it's gonna come out in august so we're gonna get a brand new area called twilight isle and four returning characters from story of season three of towns and after that, we're all done with Star of Seasons, Partners of Olive Town, Expansion Pass with the DLC. That's gonna be pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think so far of the Expansion Pass. Which part was your favorite? For me, I have to say I really like this one. I like that there's outfits and a sub scenario. But I also really enjoyed Windswept Falls, I think had my favorite characters and I think it was a pretty nice area but yeah it's kind of hard to pick just one favorite part of the expansion pass but I think everything together it makes it worth it but yeah I know not everybody will agree that it's worth it but yeah let's discuss that in the comments 
But yeah, if you guys want to see more Stereo of Seasons content like this, please click like and subscribe, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.